you serious when you said you were only leave Chief to be with me? I meant every word of what I said that day. And then everything. <laughs> and the yes out for your room. Wow, they cry like pussy cat. The other one, they cry. <laughs> You know, Chief would never allow you to have me that easy. So we have to get rid of him. Any way possible. I'm not sure he will die tonight. Come down! Come down! Please! Please! But do you know what I regret every single day of my life? Spending a day with a cold-blooded mother like you. What we are here to establish is who you are working with and why you had to kill your boss. Have I ever told you how I met your father? We met at a mutual friend's party. Gone are the days when men used to be that simple. Men have never been simple. Chidi! Chidi, please don't put this to us, talk! Chidi, don't tell me. What? Four years. Four good years. I came back because I heard that you proposed to Kewe. What is this? I and Kewe have been dating for a couple of months now. Tori, well, you're supposed to be my best friend. Tell me why still best friends. If someone could ever tell me Priye could do something like that, I would never believe. And if anyone could tell me that Kewe would do this to me, I'll never believe it myself. Lord, I'm so whispered. I'm so whispered. I'm done with women. Any woman that comes my way now, I'll wreck her. This means, yeah, I'm done. What do you mean you are done with me? You have four boyfriends, Can you four. My love, keep up. I said I am done with men, not that men are done with me. Uh -uh. This is what they dumped you. Sorry, please, if you guys are done with your mating dance, I'd like to get some drugs for my mouth. You know, anyone that sees you, looking at you from head to toe, will probably think that you're perfectly normal. But in reality, there are some nuts loosened up here, but I can see it. All I am saying is that some of the best relationships started off in the worst way. Look, I, I didn't mean... Uh, uh, uh. Now that's my seat you're sitting on. And obviously you heard the lady, she doesn't want to talk to you, so please skid at me. Hell no. That's my guy. Now what the hell are you doing here? Hold on a second, do you work here? Nah, I know you're there. The crazy lady I told you about, she's the one. Ewe. Your son? Yes. Hi. Hi. Hey babe, I'm about to be on my way. You still haven't sent me the address yet. No, you haven't. Alright, 
I'll book a ride directly. See you soon. Alright, babe. Bye. I'm going to see Marcos. Eh? Marcos, this night? Yes, and we're spending the weekend together. The weekend? So it has gotten that serious now. What? Marcos and I? Yes, no. I thought he's been on and off. Well, he took a break from his filming project. I said we should spend the free time together. And since I'm not doing anything this weekend, why not? Whereas, I have to give him a chance. I think he's ready, he's serious, he wants to be serious. <laughs> Wait, are you sure he's not just looking for a nightstand? Blessing, really? <laughs> no. We've been texting for months, we've been talking and chatting. So, I, th I don't think Marcus is like that though. Plus, I'm tired of staying in the shell of suspicion and doubt. I need to give people a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm saying, I don't understand you. Hello, Marcos. Blessing here. What class do you have for my friend? <laughs> what? Wait, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, just be careful. So, I'm alone this weekend, huh? You're not seeing anyone. When last did you even go on a date? <laughs> Babe, trust me. You know what I like to do. But one thing I'm not going to do is force myself on anyone. <laughs> Especially not a guy like Marcos. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just joking. No offense. <laughs> Anyways, I want Tunji asked us to meet this weekend. Yeah, Tunji from work. Yeah, Tunji from work. You know, he asked us to meet, you know, to talk about work. But you know, we could talk about something else. Mm, nice. Oh, babe, you just sent me a text. I need to go. Oh. I need to go my way. I need to go your way. Okay. Okay, okay. How do I look? Mm, you look. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around again. <laughs> I'm not serious. <laughs> Very sorry. But, girl, you look hot. But, huh. I mean, I need this top. Oh. Come on, burn this blue top now. No. Is it all my clothes you want to collect? Oh no, no, it's just this one and that other one. Besides, you know that I'm going out tomorrow and I need to look nice for the day. Madam, I'm sure if you check your closet, you'll find something nice to wear. I have to go. <laughs> Bye. Alright, okay, right, safe. Yes, so, uh, come back here, Laura. Come on, give me a hug. Come on, come on. Where are you going to? Give me a hug. It's just a hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Ah, enjoy for two. Okay.
Hi. Hi. Can I help you? I'm here for Marcos. Is he in? Marcos. Yes. There's nobody named Marcos here. Is this not flat five? Yes, this is flat five. Hello, Marcos. Where are you? I'm at your place. Yes, number five. Are you serious right now? You are not around. And you know I was coming. I'm coming all the way from Ikorodu. Ah, sister. What? Please leave. <laughs> yes, number five, Adeolu. Adeola. They're telling me now that it's Adeola. Wait, 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 let me check. Do you want me to push you out? Oga, calm down. I'm leaving already, you don't need to push me out. Marcos, are you serious? VI, how? By this time? Are you serious? See, sister, I have an important thing I'm doing right now. I do need this drama. Sir, calm down. I'm also going through a lot here. You are going to Victoria Island from Ikorodu. And you did not leave early. I did leave my house early. That is why I'm here. Am I not? Yeah, you're halfway there. Please. <sighs> okay, please. Hold on. Let me book my ride first. Before you throw me out. It's drizzling. See. All right. You have five minutes. Good luck finding a ride at this time. I got one already. It's three minutes away. I mean, a safe one. Why are you men like this? Like, like what? Like your boyfriend? Really? I'm not like him. You're just about to push me out of your house. Hey, stop it, please. Are you being entitled? I have every right to if you are intruding my privacy. Do you know what a hectic day I've had? I've had a hectic day as well, and you're making my nights even worse. <laughs> you're making it seem like I have to be sorry for you. <laughs> I'm concerned, but not sorry. Wow. You know what? I think I'll just wait outside. Do you mind if I borrow your cell phone and call someone? What happened to your ride? I cancelled it. <gasps> what happened? The driver didn't want to go far? No. Picture of the driver and plate number. They don't match down on the app. And they were two in the car. Oh? Told you. Was it safe? Who do you want to call? Someone. Let me guess. Your boyfriend. Just want to try with friend number. 
He has not been picking up, right? He's concluded. Thank you. So where are you going to go now? I don't know. I think I'll just find an hotel around. I'm not really familiar with this area. Hotel? There's no hotel around here, like. Closest hotel is an hour away. Oh. Why don't you just spend the night here, like? It's gonna be morning in a few hours already. As good as that sounds, I still want to say no. How do you want to say no? Like? I'm literally out of options and offering you my living room for the night. Why are you being nice to me all of a sudden? You said I wasn't I. I think you just judged me too quick. Like, besides, looks like you're going through a lot tonight. Just putting out options. All men are not the same. You can take a seat. The couch is yours for tonight. If you want something to eat or drink, the kitchen is that way to your left. You are letting a stranger go into your kitchen. Well, the only thing I have to lose is myself. You scared me. What are you having? Just bread. I got really hungry. Sorry. Mm. It's fine. You're not sleeping. Can't sleep. Business needs urgent attention. Oh, okay. What do you do? I own a real estate company. Really? Yeah. It's too hard to believe. <laughs> no. My dad owns heaven on properties. Well, serious? Yes. Your dad is like big in the game. <laughs> yes, he is. Who's your name? I'm Laura. And you? I'm Anton. Anton. You work for your dad? No. I'm trying to focus on myself. I've gained enough experience from him. The competition is much longer. It's really hard to get your brand out. Yes, it is. I need water. So you're out here at 12 midnight eating bread without water. Do you want to choke? I can't bring some leg on me. Good night. Good night.
へそうはい、ごめんね。Yeah, he Good morning. Yes, so I'm still out. No, I'm not at Marcus' place. It's a long story. I'm at a friend's. Yes. Ah, oh, 2G cancelled. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Don't worry, I'm going to make it up to you. No, I'll see you soon. I'm about to be on my way. All right, baby. Take care. What's this? Ginger tea. It tastes minty. It's good for digestion. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Not everyone would have allowed a stranger. So I was thinking, you know, before you leave, maybe you could help me out with some of my layouts for work. Your insights would be helpful. And you know, I'm the daughter of one of the biggest firms in town. So it would be really nice. Okay, but first, um, do you mind if I use your bathroom? Do you mind? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Bathroom is that way to do that. Okay. Actually, do the inspection today. That's fine, right? Okay. Um, then I'll see you there. Antoine! Antoine! Uh, yeah? What do you need? Please, you see a blue top on the couch. Can you pass it to me? There's no blue top here. The, the one with the white stripes? Yes, that one. Alright. Come on, give me my shirt. Can I have my shirt?
You look beautiful in that outfit. Do you still live here? But yeah, haven't you noticed? No wife. Hmm. No wife. No girlfriend. Not at the moment. Why? Why not? What happened? Just not been in any serious relationship lately. You've been thinking. Not in recent times. Just take it some time to focus on work. So like, what's the deal with you and the guy from last night? Why do you want to know? I'm just wondering, shouldn't I be concerned? Like, is the reason you're in my house right now? Um, nothing really. I guess you should marry what happened already. But he didn't play it cool though. This was the first time I was going to see him. We met two months ago. He came to my room for a project. And we started talking. I was skeptical about it though, but then I decided to give it a chance. Red flags? <laughs> Lots of them. You know, when you have something, you know. You don't have to feel like you're forcing it. I mean, look at us. We just met a couple of hours ago. I feel like we'll be cool friends. No, I didn't think I'd be spending this weekend with a woman. A beautiful one at that. Let's see yesterday. Yes, now. <laughs> but I see you've been busy with them. Anyways, we cooked. My mom said that she might give you this. Mm -hmm. Ah, jello fries for sure. Don't worry, tell mommy I said thank you. All right, now, no problem. All right, don't worry, tell her I'll come and see her later. Hey, that's what you'll be saying. No, I'll come, I'll have some. I think she's done your bed.
had a great time. It was nice having you over. I did, sir. Well, hopefully I get to apply some of the things you showed me. Yeah, sure. I really don't want you to go. I'm going to miss you. Thanks for having me your home one more time. Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? Give me a store. I have to go. I really do have to go. Thank you. I have to go. I really like you, Antoine. But I don't want you to kiss me. Why not? Because I don't want you to see me like some cheap girl who spent the night at your place just because she missed that destination. I'm really starting to catch feelings for you. But I'm surprised at myself. Like, could this be real? It's real. I, I really like you too. The little time I've spent with you has been like fantasy and I really want this to make sense. Promise me we'll see you again. When do you want to see me? Right now. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Promise. I promise. Yeah, this is her. Accident. Okay, okay, okay. Where is she now? All right, all right, all right. I'll be there shortly.
God, look at you. Can you hear me? Oh. I was told you had a really bad impact to your score. And you might even suffer a little memory loss. Oh God, I just hope not. Anyways, when you wake up, just know I'm blessed in your bestie. And I'll always be here for you. I'm glad you're awake now. I'm blessed, your bestie. Can you remember me? Where is my dad? Your dad was actually here while you were sleeping, but he said he'd be back this evening. I made you lunch. I made you a four, just the way you like it. Where was I going when the accident happened? Um, well, you told me you were going to your boyfriend's place, but you ended up somewhere else. I, I really do not have any idea. Who was the guy I was going to see? I'm trying to remember. Easy, 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 easy. The doctor said you cannot stretch your head. But you know, with time, the pieces of the puzzle will fall in place, okay? So don't stress. You didn't tell me the name of the guy. You only said you are going to gist me. I wish you did though. But that will be for later. Oh yeah. Come and eat. 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 Get up, 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 get up. Can you stop? Go forward. Ah. But did you, of course, it's such a beautiful day outside. You thought so. Yes, it's good vitamin D. Nah, I'll pass. I'll rather be in bed. Thank you. For how long will you continue like this? Don't you want to regain yourself again? And remember everything. And remember that guy you spend the night with. I do. So let me help you. How? Have you been doing the exercises the doctor told you to do? Yeah, right. So let's get at it. Up, 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 up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. You have to get up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Up, let's go. And up.
No, bro. Let's finally meet the person. Show my Please. So, as I was saying over the phone, the plan is on the verge. And it's not looking for good for you and your company. So, I believe if I can invest in you, the right connection and outreach will get you back. So, you can get back. Bro. Bro. Hello. I'm oh, sorry. Um, I'm listening. You're saying? Is everything alright? I just have a lot of money. You were like this over the phone last night. And it's really not looking good for business. We can talk about it. You know, the problem shared is half solved. Have you ever met someone that just takes your breath away? <laughs> All my problems, right? I'm listening. You don't understand, man. So they didn't get spent the weekend with me some time back. And we ended up falling in love. And I haven't been able to reach her since then. So you mean a uh, lady came to your house and disappeared afterwards? See, the word did is. I don't have anyone to contact her. I don't know where to find her. Just that phone number that I keep trying every day. Huh. Confuse me. You, you need to chill. If you can't get hold of this girl, maybe she's not feeling the same way you feel. You know, I'm 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 really waiting now. And I understand this kind of um, emotional attachment and psychological breakdowns. My wife deals with such too. Trust me, it's not going to do any good. You need to find a way to move on your life. You know what? Let's leave here. I had enough to drink. Let's go somewhere else. I think <laughs> I'm not only going to invest in the people, I need to work on it. <laughs>
Ja, ich muss. Das ist deine Frau. Pardon, Amanas. She had an accident some time ago. And it affected her brain. A lot of things she can't remember. It took her a while to even remember her whole name. So you married her? So I've been working at that for quite some time. She's the CEO of um, Heaven Homes. I'm sure you know him. I'm like a son to him. He felt he needed someone to look after his daughter. And the doctor said, maybe falling in love again will bring some of her memories back. She, she kept mentioning the guy's name while she was at the hospital. Andrew or Anthony or something like that. No one knows this person. And me being single and searching at the time, I became a lucky man. You know, I don't really keep too many compliments. Um, I'm always working. I guess you can see it. I'm a bit of a workaholic. But I prioritize my time. And when I see an opportunity, I take it. My initial thought was to buy out from you. But you have always been a chill guy right from secondary school. That's why I'm proposing this offer to invest. Who says we can't be friends and good business partners? Look, I don't have anything against you, bro. And whatever is bothering you, I'm sure it can be resolved. If you want us to go and find this girl you are looking for, we can go look for her. Tonight. Babe, not tonight again. Babe, then when? We will, but not tonight. But we are married. When are we going to make love? The doctor said exciting things like this can jog up your memory. We will, but not tonight. I'm not in the right frame of mind. Please just give me some time. Well, your dad has been calling and you have not been picking up score of late. Oh, I didn't notice. You can't keep shutting people out. You do remember he's your dad, right? What do you mean? Is that supposed to be funny? I didn't mean it like that. Babe. Babe. Babe, please. Can you just leave me alone tonight? Please. I'll be going to my room.
Yeah, I'm coming. Hi. Flora. My husband is not home. Does he know you are here? So you don't remember me? How can I? You don't think we have met before? I tried calling you, you know. left me in a really dark place. Really dark place? Are we strangers now? Strangers? John said you kept mentioning the guy's name when you were at the hospital. Whose name was that? You know what? You need to back off. Does my husband know you are here? No. You'll be home soon. That ginger tea. You need to go. Hey, baby. 
Welcome. I'm fine. How was work? Work was fine. We have company. What company? Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you again. Hi. You finally agreed to the proposal. We'll be working a lot together. Lots. I don't think you'll be coming back here today again. It was you earlier. Oh, um, I think I didn't. I think. Ah. Oh. Sorry, babe. Ouch. Sorry, is she okay? Uh, yay. It happens sometimes. Oh. I can't do this. You saw me. I was just trying to help. So the land that Shambhu Tedu, is it still selling? Guy, okay, I need a response. Sorry, I was just calculated something in my mind. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Okay. You know what, uh, let's just eat first uh, and talk about this later. You want me to join both of you? Yes. Anton is our guest. And it would be wrong for you to walk out on him. Okay. Anton and I were secondary school friends. Oh, really? Yeah. Not really friends like that. We don't really talk. But um, I was enticed by the ladies. He felt I was lame. <laughs> He's a ladies' man. Talking about ladies, um, any luck with your girl? No luck. But something comes up. I'm about to see her very soon. I wish you good luck, man. Let's make a toast. To what? A new wife. New friendship. A good endeavors. Give me a sec. Let me take this.
Looking for someone? Nah. I'm not looking for someone specifically. Just lost contact with an old friend. Mm. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find her. Are you done? Yeah, I am. I didn't know you were such a good cook. You don't know much about me. You told me a lot. Anytime I'm around you, I get this strange but familiar feeling. So you have to take this. You done already? Yeah. I didn't know your wife is such an excellent cook. Yeah, she is. Beep. Beep. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So are you? Me? Really? Yes. Um, I guess it's work mostly. Or is it because of your newfound friend? Who wants one? He's being his usual great self. Um, I just hope he gets himself because we are working on really big contracts. Uh, and we're about to finalize. I'm sure it was really happy. Ah, yeah, let's go with the flu. The guy is depressed. Sometimes I really wish I could help him out. He sometimes he behaves like a very good friend, and sometimes he's just a shitty person. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find myself soon. Like you're finding yourself. I'm glad to see you smiling, baby. Thank you. Why is there no red wine? This is supposed to be a really romantic date. Um, what kind of wine would you like? A sweet red wine is fine. But I think I'll go for apple cider because uh, the doctor said you're supposed to look sober. But in the meantime. Okay, that's fine. Rita. Food. Good. <laughs> that was how you left me there and never called back. He didn't call you back. Maybe because you kept talking to him about work. I was bad about that. He was the one who asked about what I do. Anything wrong in getting into details. Babe, it's a date, not a business meeting. See. I still think if a guy likes a girl, he should be willing to listen to the details of her heart regardless. Okay. It's true, Sha. But maybe it's not the one for you. Let me call you back. Who is there? I'm coming. What are you doing here? I came to see you. 
You need to stop seeing me behind your friend's back. John is a great guy and I hate to see him hurt, but this is not about him. Whatever you have going on in your head about me. It won't work. I'm married. I'm starting to accept my new life. I'm just trying to help you. You can't help me. Anytime I'm around you, I feel so lost. Like I'm missing something. Or I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't feel right. I'm not trying to make you feel that way. Then you need to go. Don't come here. I can't. John wants me to be his friend. And I can't keep watching like this for the rest of my life. You need to go. It's going to be an end moment for now. Do you love him? I'm learning to. He's a nice guy. Yes, he is. But did he tell you you kept mentioning the guy's name when you were at the hospital? Or why you drink ginger tea every morning? Or why certain scents give you a nostalgic feeling? Antoine, where are you going with this? Bye. Call me once you arrive. Alright, I will. I feel you are owing me something. Like... For my good hospitality, I feel I deserve something. So what can I give you? Anything money cannot buy. Like... Like... <gasps> Antoine! <gasps> So what should we do? I don't know. John is my good friend. My dad made me marry him. I didn't want to do it. I just had to do it because everyone was pestering me. And I just did it to make them happy. I don't feel this way with him. You know, it's a hard thing to hear that. What should we do? We'll figure something out along the way. With um, calls, meetings, um, etc. I've been calling him for a while. He's not on weekends call. Mm, maybe he's busy. Busy with what? His business should be his priority right now. Well, maybe you should try calling him later tonight. Well, uh, maybe I would. But I'm tired right now. I need to get to bed. Um, babe. 
was it? I want to tell you something. What is it? Okay. Um, can it wait? I'm so tired right now. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Hello? I tried telling him, but I couldn't. Why not? I was about telling him this morning, but I froze like a statue. He's a really nice person. Oh, yes, he is. Maybe he deserves you more than I do. Maybe. Like left, right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? You the same? When you're touching my body, go. When you're touching my body, go. I want it. Yeah, I need it. And I'm on it. I'm on it. Are you the same? 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 Are you the same?
So I guess I'll see you if not then. Yeah. I should get going now. I think I should get going now. Are you alright? Yeah, no, my head hurts. I think you need to maybe lie down. Let me take help. Yes, I'll come now. I just need to rest. Oh, yes, babe. Alex broke up with me. It just ended doing things like that. Just like Kevin, Fonsha. And what was that other boy's name? It doesn't matter. It matters. Life to me has had its ups and downs, mostly down when it comes to dating. I've been in some toxic relationships that ended over sleeping. I don't think I can be the guy for you anymore. I promise you we can fix this. Don't you feel like tough and relationships are just not meant for me? I don't want to stay from anything that would run me crazy. Yeah, you should. Focus on yourself for now and just take some time away from dating. I am going to work. I thought about what you said, but I'm just going to put everything behind me and move on with my life. Tumila! You look convincingly busy. Are you okay? Seems you've had a lot. Can you please not touch anything? What's your name? I will do. Drop me a text. Uluwa Deji, Managing Director, Raising Place Corporation. The mom Kemi, your, your new assistant. I've seen you bend all your rules for this your boss. Just make sure this is not another roller coaster ride. Though. It's not until I get to all the sons of Adam before I find a serious relationship. Do you know where X is shutting from? Experience. I need to know what went through again. Those bad relationships so I can do better. <laughs> you know what? You really have to be always spontaneous. It's sexy. Ah. <laughs> I mean, if you are a guy, you want to have a woman that can hold conversation, fun, inspiring, entertaining conversation for as long as it lasts. There have been too many people lately. I don't even know which version of myself to be anymore. You are here to show me anything convincing.
you serious when you said you were on your leave, Chief, to be with me? I meant every word of what I said that day. Out for your room. One, they cry like pussy cats. The other one, they cry. <laughs> you know, Chief would never allow you to have me that easy. So we have to get rid of him any way possible. I'm not sure he will die tonight. Come down! But do you know what I regret every single day of my life? Spending a day with a cold-blooded mouth that all like you. What we are here to establish is who you are working with and why you had to kill your boss. 